hello guys welcome to simplified coding and in this video we will see a very simple example of navigation tower using fragments so let's start we will create a new android studio project and put any name like navigation tower sample click next next now here you need to select navigation tower activity as we are building a navigation tower again click next and then finish now once the project is loaded you can try running it so hit on play and select your emulator now as you can see here is our navigation tower it is working absolutely fine now we will see how we can switch the screens when these nav navigation items is clicked so let's see first we will remove this floating accent button so come inside app underscore bar underscore main dot xml and from here you can remove this floating accent button. And remove this hello world as well. Hello world as well. It is inside content underscore main dot xml. So we can remove the hello world. Now let's change these menus. So to change the menu, come inside menu folder, and this file contains the menu. So go to text, and you can change it to whatever you want. So for this example, I'm giving menu one, menu two, and menu three. And I guess three menus is enough. And change the IDs as well. So we have changed the menu. You can check it run again oops we have to remove the code for floating accent button as well so inside main activity.java remove these lines and remove these as well because we have changed the menu IDs so this will not work so we have to remove these so now you can run it so as you can see we don't have the floating accent button now and we don't also have the hello world text view and the menus are changed you can change the icon as well but I'm not changing it for this example so now we want to switch the screen when these items are clicked so for this we will create fragment so go to your package right click go to new java class and create you can name your class and giving menu and it will extend fragment Now for this fragment we will create a respective layout file as well. So inside layout right click go to new and select layout resource file and you can name it menu 1. Now you can put anything here for now I am putting a text view or let's drag it. Can change the layout to relative layout and center vertical true, center horizontal true, and width to wrap content and change the appearance to large. Now that's it, and change the text. 
text as well and a new one now we will create three layouts so copy this control c and paste it here and change the file name to menu 2 and we will change it to menu 2 once more menu 3 and we will change it to menu 3 so we have three layout files now come inside the fragment class we created here we will override two methods right click go to generate and then override methods and from here find on view created and on create view we need to override both these methods so we have overridden the method now inside on create view we will return the layout so we will write here return inflator this object dot inflate and we will call the layout file and the layout file is menu1 and then we can pass container and attach to root false that's it now inside this method we can set the title for this call the method get activity and dot set title you can set the title to menu one or anything you want and this way we will create the other two classes so copy it and paste it here and change menu two and layout menu 2 same for menu 3 now come inside main activity and here we will define a function a method that will switch the views for us so define display selected screen method named private void display selected screen and we will pass the and navigation item id to this method that will tell us which screen is to be displayed so write idea and then we will create a fragment object here fragment and initially it is null and then we will switch the id that is passed now we can write the cases we have three menus and we will create the fragment object inside the case so for menu 1 we will create fragment object for class menu 1 and same for menu 2 and 3 so that's it now we will check if fragment is not null fragment is not null then we will create a fragment transaction object that will switch the fragment so create fragment transaction and then we will call it get support fragment manager and from this we will call the method begin transaction so this will initiate the screen switching transaction so call begin transaction now we will replace the fragment with the fragment that is to be displayed so we will write r dot id dot content name and 
then we will pass it our fragment and then we will commit the changes that's it now copy these lines and paste it here actually i have cut it cut let me undo it cut both these lines and paste it here this will close the drawer after displaying the selected screen now here we will simply call the method display selected screen and then we will pass the id the navigation item id that is clicked so i guess this will work so let's try it okay. let's test menu 1 menu 1 menu 2 and menu 3 and it is not displaying any screen at start so we can call the method display selected screen at on create display selected screen and we can pass the id of menu 1 or any menu which you want to display at start so that's it now let's try again so as you can see at start it's showing menu 1 and title is also changed menu 1 menu 2 and menu 3 so our navigation drawer is working absolutely fine and that's it for this video and if you are having any confusions you can leave out your comments and please do subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video thank you